Hello everyone, how is everyone doing? Welcome to the channel of the Loquacious One. I hope everyone's doing fine this holiday season. And if you are a regular viewer to my channel, you know I am doing a little mini series on things that I'm using to decorate affordable. And I'm using venues that are accessible to most of us, places like Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Target, Walmart, uh, stores of that nature. So without further ado, uh, on the decorating side of things, uh, the theme for my uh, kitchen is a woodland theme with the plaids, the checks, and reds and greens with the berries, the shrubberies, that type of thing. So I'm going to show you things I've used to mimic the look of a higher end. I'm going for the sort of Ballard type of design and front gate inspired designs. So I have uh, used things I found from Walmart and Dollar Tree in this particular series right here. This video that I'm using now, I went to Walmart and Dollar Tree. I had to do reefs for the front door and the back door, and that's expensive. But this reef will be for the uh, back door. Excuse me, tongue tied. So I went to Dollar Tree and I found this garland. It's 15 feet long. It's by Christmas House, but it is quite thin as you can see. So I purchased uh, several of them. And in the case of making wreaths, since the wreaths were so thin, I made my own. And what I did was I got a wreath form. It's the wire one. And you can also, if you want to, use the styrofoam one. This is much heavier than the styrofoam one, but it's more substantial. And I like it and it's reusable. So I used approximately three packs of this garland. And I just simply uh, wrapped it around itself on this form. And then you could add lights. You could add your garland or decoration. And you know, wreaths like this cost a penny. So I did save a lot of money and I am satisfied with it. I will have one for the front door and one for the back door. Also... From Dollar Tree, I purchased this wired garland ties. And this is simply to tie anything that I have to uh, fix uh, my garlands with. And I don't have to have a string or worry about using something that, you know, just doesn't flow with garland. So I did get this for Dollar Tree. It is pre-cut. It's 12 uh, wired garland ties. Now, the actual uh, garland I will be using, it is not from the Dollar Tree because their uh, garland, as you can see, if I could compare it, it's quite thin. It's just a single strand of this. And I would have to put several together to get a full lush effect like you see at Ballard's and Front Gate. So I went to Wall. Mark, excuse me, I'm nasally, I'm getting over from a cold, and I do apologize. And from Walmart, I purchased this uh, holiday time. It's a nine foot non lip branch garland, and it's only a dollar eighty, dollar uh, ninety eight cent. But this is what I will use to make my garland for my kitchen window. And what I like about this, as opposed to Dollar Tree, not only is it thicker, but look how. It branches off into several branches on the stem. So you get a more realistic effect. You get to work with it and get that full effect look. And if you really wanted to, you could double this. Okay. And I will fix everything with these uh, wire garland ties. It's 12 counts that I got from Dollar Tree from Christmas House. Excuse me. Oh, my God. I shouldn't have been filming. Okay, so I will light it up. The lights that I will be using are from Walmart. It's holiday time, 50 clear mini lights. And this was $1.48 for the box. 
And to decorate, I'll be using this ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. It's the Christmas House series. I got a really pretty red garland, uh, excuse me, a uh, ribbon that has the sequins. And it has a wire edge so you can mold it. And I will be intertwining that with this red, uh, it's a red, it's wire edge, but it's a more of a fabric that's shot with lyrics. So I weave those two together and I bought six rolls of that. Because I believe for nine feet, I would need about uh, six rows, total six rows, three uh, rows for each ribbon. I then purchased this Christmas house at Dollar Tree, because the ribbon is from Dollar Tree, a dollar row. This for Christmas house, five ornaments, is red with gold uh, snowflakes. And you know my scheme is snowflakes, so that fell in line with that. So I got two packages of that. As well as for accent, I got these large garments from Dollar Tree also. It's gold glitter with red glitter trim and red gems. And I thought making a swag with each, each swag area, I would use one of these. And picks, you got to have your picks. And for picks, Dollar Tree has some really lovely ones. Again, by Christmas House. Look at these, folks. It has the evergreen, red berries, the apples, and the pine cones. And leaves, of course. How gorgeous is that? It's $1. You can't beat it. And I like it better than the ones that you get at Hobby Lobby or Joann's or Michael's, which costs more. And really, look, this is a deal. I also found these smaller picks. I got two of them. It's a mixture of the red berries with apple and the gauze ribbon. And these were two for one dollar. And these will be used as fillers. So that's two for a dollar. So, so far, this is what I got to do my uh, garlic for my kitchen. And because I'm going to put it over a uh, large picture window. I have a picture window in my kitchen. So you want to save dollars because garland is very expensive. When you do something really, really nice, it's upwards of fifty to a hundred dollars if you look at those catalogs of upscale balsam pine front gate ballards. It's really unbelievable. But again, simply using the garland I found, and I love the uh, garland at Walmart because it's affordable price. You can make some beautiful garlands. You can make some beautiful wreaths, and you don't have to break the bank. And I want it full and I want it lush. Well, folks, that's it. That's all of my haul I use for things that I will be making my wreaths and garlands for my kitchen with. I will be coming back to you again with what I'm doing for my front door. And as always, click the subscribe button to have the notification. Thumbs up if you enjoy. Leave all questions, cares, comments, and concerns in the box below. And if you're on social media and you enjoyed this video, please share. Until next time, love you. Bye-bye.